they do too much for you. And in the worst cases I've had that, you have the impression that you're carrying the lesson. You, the teacher, the, the student is riding piggyback on your back and you're carrying the whole lesson. It's, it's not ideal at all. And it happens to the best teachers. And there are reasons for that because you, well, when you book a class, there's, a, there's a, an understanding that the teacher is going to remain productive. They're actually going to do something for their money. They can't just, uh, okay, hello class, get this exercise done. Um, I'm giving you 20 minutes and they go and sit down. Students or paying customers would say, what's my paying for? They're, they're sitting there and they just give me exercises. That's a bit easy, is it? They want to be entertained. If you're paying a teacher, they expect to be entertained, to be spoken to. They, they expect a blackboard. They expect, it's not the best way to learn, but it's, it's, a, it's a lot less quick way of learning, but that's what you, you have the right to expect because you're paying for the teacher's time also. And you really are buying time. When you, when you buy a class, you are buying time, more than a skill.